With foldable smartphones becoming more and more mainstream, manufacturers keep on pushing the boundaries of technology to provide a seamless user experience. Aside from making the foldable display more durable, the race to develop a thinner chassis is certainly at the top of the priority list. The goal is to develop a foldable smartphone that does not feel like you're holding the two normal phones in one hand, in exchange for the promise of a much bigger display. Huawei is making these last few steps with the Mate X3, an attempt to make you think you're holding a regular bar-type smartphone that shows the real capabilities when unfolded. What up guys, Miguel here at Yugitech, and in this video, we want to share with you where Huawei Mate X3 falls in the mix of foldables currently in the market. Like I mentioned earlier, the Huawei Mate X3 is crazy thin at just 5.3 millimeters. It's the thinnest smartphone currently being sold in the market today. The last time Huawei made something as thin as the X3 is the Huawei P8 back in 2015. So much so that a Huawei rep told us that they had to re-engineer the USB Type-C module so that it would fit into the 5.3mm thin chassis design of the device. When folded, it's still the thinnest among the foldables in 2023 but remained to be a bit on the chunky side at 11.8mm. Once foldables break the 10mm to 9mm barrier when folded, we think that's the sweet spot for it to become a non-issue altogether. There are two large speaker grills at the top and bottom sides of the unit, the SIM tray on the left side, the volume rocker and power button that serves as a fingerprint sensor on the right. There's a noise cancelling microphone up top together with the IR blaster, while the primary microphone with another secondary mic and Type-C charging port are all at the bottom end. The frame is polished metal and lined with a total of 12 antenna bands so you can get the best signal reception whether the phone is folded or unfolded. Along with the slight curved cover display and the tapered edge, the Mate X3 feels good in one hand and very manageable to hold. The Mate X3 uses a dual-track wing-shaped hinge with high-precision cam drive system for a smooth and effortless folding and unfolding of the screen. It's also very easy to flex at any angle and it comfortably holds it in place. When folded, the display touches each other so closely you won't even see a gap. Likewise, Huawei boasts the Mate X3 is the only foldable phone that has an IPX8 rating for splash and water resistance to depths of up to 1.5 meters and as long as 30 minutes. The feather sand glass back panel of the Mate X3 has a frosted finish that makes it highly immune to fingerprints or smudges. The camera module at the rear is quite thick and encased in stainless steel with a brushed metal finish at the top and glossy around the sides. By far, the Huawei Mate X3 has the best engineering and design of a foldable smartphone. It is almost flawless even at very close. On the exterior, the Mate X3 features a 6.4-inch OLED cover display with a resolution of 2504 by 1080 pixels. This cover display is protected by the very durable Kunlun glass, which Huawei claims to be 5 times more drop resistant than those on the previous Mate X2. On the inside, it has a large 7.85-inch foldable OLED inner display with a resolution of 2496 by 2224 pixels. The screen refresh rate varies depending on the specific app or activity being done on the device. The adaptive refresh rate on the LTPO exterior screen can go as low as 1Hz and up to 120Hz. The refresh rate on the LTPS interior screen can be set to 60, 90, or 120Hz. The expansive interior display looks great. Colors are bright and vivid with deep contrast. Same goes with the external display. The crease on the inner display isn't too obvious unless viewing it at a certain angle or when glare hits the screen. Playing games with the cover display is good enough. It feels completely different when done on the inner display. You will see more of the environment when playing games like Mobile Legends, but visibility is cropped with games like Genshin Impact. The stereo speakers are great. They're very loud and offers a good balance in its sound stage. Separation is good. There is a little bit of bass, but the treble is so much more prominent. 
In terms of biometrics, you get a standard fingerprint sensor embedded onto the power button on the right side. The Huawei Mate X3 runs on EMUI 13.1, which is based on Android 12. As expected, it's running on Huawei mobile services and not Google's mobile services. So you get native Huawei apps such as Pedal Maps, Pedal Search, Huawei Health, Huawei Cloud, and many more. You get most apps and games via Huawei App Gallery, and if you need to install Google Apps, it comes integrated with Gbox that runs in the background to provide Google mobile services support. Huawei has been doing this for quite some time now preloading a number of apps onto the device, and even slapping dozens of shortcut links for recommended apps to download right away. It might start to feel a little confusing at first since there's a ton of them in there, only to realize that it's just a link to download the actual apps. Everything else seemed familiar, especially if you've used a Huawei phone before, and there's a number of customization options in the interface to fit your liking. The Huawei Mate X3 packs a 50 megapixel UltraVision main camera with an aperture of f1.8, a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera with an aperture of f2.2, and a 12 megapixel periscopic telephoto camera or sensor with an aperture of f3.4 and can do 5x optical zoom. Huawei managed to include the telephoto despite the 5.3 millimeter thin body due to that extended camera module that protrudes from the back. So yes, there is plenty of room for stacked lenses in there. When Huawei and Leica ended their partnership, Huawei eventually developed its own in-house version and called it Xmage. In the native camera app, you can choose between three Xmage picture profiles, original, vivid, and bright. Photos turn out great. A little on the vibrant side with some sharpening on the edges, highlighted contrast with the skies, same with saturation, and shots of food, flowers, and greeneries. The night mode is likewise impressive. The super macro mode, which we really liked on the P60 Pro, did not deliver on the Mate X3. Almost all the macro shots we took were all... blurry. Video recording maxes out at 4K at 60 frames per second. There is no 8K at 24 frames per second recording here, but it's not really a big deal for us. For selfies, you've got two cameras on here. One when it's folded, and one when it's unfolded over there. Both have an identical sensor with an 8 megapixel resolution. What up guys? This is a selfie video sample using the front facing sensor of the Huawei Mate X3. Overall, the camera system on the Mate X3 is good, but it is nowhere near that of the optical clarity of the Huawei P60 Pro. Link to that video here. Powering the Mate X3 is a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset which was specifically manufactured by Qualcomm for Huawei, minus the 5G modem. The octa-core processor is paired with an Adreno 730 GPU. Our unit comes with 12GB of LPDDR5 RAM and 512GB of UFS 4.0 internal storage. The combination of a powerful Snapdragon chip, 12GB of RAM, and 512GB of super fast storage make the Mate X3 a foldable phone that operates smoothly and almost flawlessly. Playing games at moderate to high settings is a breeze, although expect some frame drops once in a while due to that large 7.86 inch display. The device feels fast and snappy, even with multitasking on split windows running several apps. The Mate X3 works just fine. As mentioned earlier, the Mate X3 does not have a 5G modem and only uses bands of up to 4G. This could be an issue for someone that relies on 5G connectivity very heavily. It has two nano SIM card slots with the second one that also supports a nano memory card of up to 256 GB. For battery, the Mate X3 is packed with a 4800 mAh cell that supports 66 watt supercharge and 50 watt wireless charging. Since we are working with a foldable device, the battery life will be heavily dependent on the use case and how often you unfold the device. In PCMark's Work 3.0 battery test, the Mate Hex 3 lasted 14 hours and 49 minutes when folded. But that drops down to almost half when unfolded at 7 hours and 42 minutes. In our proprietary video loop test, the battery lasted 12 hours and 53 minutes when unfolded and 17 hours and 13 minutes when folded. All battery tests are done with the screens at 50% brightness, zero volume, and in airplane mode. For the most part, the cover screen of the Mate X3 is more than enough for our daily needs. That's like SMS, calls, social media, emails, and all that other stuff. The only time we were compelled to open the entire full screen is when gaming and watching videos, 
Not because of necessity, but because of the immersive experience. Otherwise, we're okay with the cover screen 90% of the time. Because honestly, it kind of just, it's so big, it's like a normal, regular smartphone. It's awesome. This is probably the very first time we were very impressed with a foldable smartphone, both in design and engineering. Plus points for managing to seal it enough to be water resistant and tougher than all other foldable phones in the market today. Nonetheless, some will find the balance of 5G connectivity and feeble support for Google Apps through Gbox a significant shortcoming into thinking twice before considering this phone. But if you can look past the inconvenience, then the Huawei Mate X3 is an excellent foldable smartphone that showcases Huawei's engineering ingenuity and photography expertise. The Huawei Mate X3 is available for pre-order in online Huawei stores, authorized retail outlets, and leading e-commerce sites. With a suggested retail price of 109,999 pesos, and with the pre-order promo from May 12 to 25 of 2023, you can get it paired up with the Huawei Watch G3 worth 12,999 pesos for free. So, what do you guys think? Impressed with the Huawei Mate X3? We sure are. Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack. Be sure to smack that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon to get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit Yucatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.